This is a getting started guide for the Modius Brushless Servo Development Kit. The Modius Brushless Servo Controller is designed to turn hobby brushless motors into high-performance robotic servo actuators. It can produce high torque, high acceleration, and high speed, all while being compact and low mass. Daisy chainable power and data connectors allow modular actuators to be built to create more complex robotic systems. In this video, I'll show how to get started with the development kit right after taking everything out of the box. Once you've extracted the components of the dev kit, you'll have a wall power supply, an FD CAN USB, an STM32 programmer, and the Modius brushless servo controller itself, attached to the desk stand with an MJ5208 motor. To begin with, we want to power the controller up and connect it to the FD CAN USB. You should connect the power cable to the controller before plugging the power supply into the wall. We will connect the power supply to the Modius, then the CAN FD connector. For both power and data, any connector on Modius works fine. Then we will connect the FD CAN USB to a USB port. And after that, plug the power supply into the wall. Now we can see the green light and the unit is powered. At this point we'll go to the computer and get things set up there. On the software side we'll install TView from PyPy using pip. I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 here, but the installation command should be identical for Windows, Mac, Linux, or many other systems with a Python greater than or equal to 3.7. Just pip3 install modius-gui. You're welcome to do that in a virtual env, although here I'll just install it to my local user account. Note that Anaconda is known to have problems and is not recommended to begin with. Once the host software is installed, we can run the TView Diagnostic Utility to inspect the state of the motor controller, command it, and modify the configuration. No matter your pip setup, python-m modius under gui.tview will work. Although if pip is integrated properly, just typing tview should all work also. Briefly, in the left hand pane there are two tabs. The right tab shows live telemetry. The left tab shows and lets you modify configured values. The bottom pane shows a command line interface, and the right pane has a live plot. Now that we've got the software running, we are ready to make our first movement. We'll use the position mode of the Modius controller, which despite being named position, supports all the primary control functionality of the controller, including position, velocity, and torque control, as well as acceleration limited trajectories. You can read about the theory here in the Getting Started manual, including how to use feed forward torque and what options to set to enter all the various modes. Here though, we'll start with a simple movement, just a constant velocity trajectory to a fixed endpoint. I'll use the D for diagnostic and POS for position control, then a 0 0.5 to indicate we want to move to position 0 0.5, then a zero to indicate we want to be stopped at that position, and then a maximum torque of 0.3 newton meters. I'll use the V0.2 flag to indicate the velocity should be limited to 0.2 hertz, and the A2.0 flag to indicate the acceleration should be limited to 2 hertz per second. Before starting that command, I'll plot the current position in the live plot so we can see it move. With the plot ready, pressing enter will send the command and start the motor moving. Now that it is done, I'll use up arrow to get back to the previous sent command and edit it to move to a position of negative 0.2. This will cause the motor to move back to the newly requested position at the same velocity as before. Finally, we can stop power being applied to the motor by sending the diagnostic stop command. That disables the servo drive and stops all power from being applied.
the diagnostic telemetry is still updated, so you can see the position updates as the motor rotates. With that first movement out of the way, a couple of quick tips. Many of the configurable parameters are documented in the reference. If you think you need to change one but don't know what it does, just ask. The developer kits come configured with some defaults that are not set on bare boards. First, there exist default velocity and acceleration limits, which are unset on bare boards. Second, the position limit is extended to be a range of minus one to plus one. The controller will not apply power to push the motor outside that range, and will fault if you try to start outside of it. Thus, if we manually move the motor to plus 1.5, then try the DPOS command we issued earlier, we see that the motor doesn't move, and the mode is now K fault, and the fault code is 39. This fault state can occur from many problems. When Modis is in that state, it refuses to power the motor. Active faults must be cleared before continuing. That can be done by sending the D stop command. You also must resolve the underlying problem. Here we can do that by manually moving the motor back inside the bounds. At this point, you can then send commands again. That's it for this Modius Dev Kit introduction video. You should definitely read the Getting Started Guide and the reference documentation, both linked from the top level README. Join the MJBots Discord from the link in the description below to join in the discussion. And I hope your motion control is productive. Thanks!